Germany take on Japan in their penultimate friendly before the World Cup in France and before kickoff, vice captain Svenja Hut picked up the award for national team player of the year 2018. Hendrich into the starting lineup after coming off the bench to score in the 2 1 win over Sweden last Saturday with Pop leading the line and wearing the captain's armband. Back to back wins for head coach Martina Voss Tecklenburg, who took charge back in November of a last year into the eighth minute and the first chance of the game would go to the german side who started the better of the two pass inside to magul who couldn't find a way past the japanese keeper chika hirao forward into the 25th minute germany continuing to apply the pressure and morozan trying to get tricky from a set-piece situation, trying to catch the keeper out at the near post. But once again, Chika Hirao able to come up with the save. Ten minutes later, and the first real chance for Japan would come after a mistake from Schultz in goal, punished by Yui Hasegawa. A very nice finish from the Japanese number 14. But Schultz will be a little disappointed with herself there just catching the ball with her left foot before trying to make the pass to Higering. And just like that, in the blink of an eye and against the run of play, Japan taking a one-goal lead. Just before the break, Germany trying to find the equaliser. A clever little free kick, Morizan to Magul. The cross then towards the back post and Johanna Elsik rising above the rest but unable to get the header on a target but that wouldn't be the last chance for Germany before the break Alexandra Pop the German captain would go for glory just before half time another good save from the keeper and to be quite fair Germany slightly unfortunate to be a goal down at the break into the second half and Germany would really tighten the screw Svenja Hut the newly named vice captain Good play out on the wing and a decent cross to find Morozan who just couldn't get any power behind the header. More of a glance than anything and a good stop again by Hirao in goal. Then Morozan would turn provider and this time the cross would be just what the doctor ordered. And a pop leading by example with a solid header down the middle. No chance at this time for Hirao in goal and Germany back on level terms. Well, the German side would then look for a winner. Three substitutions at half-time, Knack, one of them. And as the SGS Essen player, unable to find a way past the keeper, really good opportunity though. Then, moments later, wonderful pass from Gavin to Magul, who was at the heart of everything for Germany. A standout performance from her, but unable to find the back of the net just after the break then 68th minute and it's another mistake by Schultz handing an opportunity to Japan to take the lead again against the run of play and the substitute Kumi Yokoyama set up by Emi Nakajima and just like that Japan 2-1 up another lapse in concentration at the back costing Germany but well, that wouldn't matter to the Japanese fans and as a result Japan finding a little more confidence going forward decent effort there Nakajima setting up the goal just minutes before almost making it 3-1 to Japan Schult just about getting hold of the ball so Germany chasing towards the end but would play some really really good football Knack with a lovely cross Hirao with her first mistake of the game and there was Svenja Hut, the national team player of 2018, putting her body on the line and taking a boot to the face in the process. Courageous goal from her. And Germany deservedly back on level terms. They cross towards the back post and a header from Rico Uweki cleared off the line by Paulina Bremer, a late substitute to replace a pop at the end, brought on.
for her attacking prowess, but showing off her defensive skills there. And then into stoppage time, Knack with a fantastic right-footed effort. Asking for one more save from the Japanese keeper. So at the end of it all, 2-2, the final score, a good test for both teams. Germany unfortunate not to win in the end. Their last friendly on the 30th of May will be against Chile before Group B in the World Cup starts. Their first game against China on the 8th of June.